Welcome to this week's Movie Math, giving you an in-depth analysis of the box office for the weekend of November 2nd, where Wreck-It Ralph was the high score. But just for this weekend, this year's animation high score still belongs to Illumination Entertainment's The Lorax. Disney Animation's in-house competition Pixar takes second place with Brave, and DreamWorks Animation takes third place with Madagascar 3. Wreck-It Ralph's debut is in league with Sony's Hotel Transylvania and Blue Sky's Ice Age 4. But even more interesting is that this opening is right on par with Tangled, Disney Animation's first successful computer animated film. So while they might not have gained any new ground, they haven't lost any either. And just as the industry has been excited about Hotel Transylvania's success, so are they with Wreck-It Ralph's, convinced that yet another brand has been minted for Disney. Plus, word of mouth could certainly allow Wreck-It Ralph to level up, as it has no real box office competition until Thanksgiving. And even then, who knows if audiences will connect with DreamWorks Animation's Rise of the Guardians, with its kitchen sink mentality towards holidays. Finally, this is great news for Rich Moore, who along with Gendy Tartakovsky, have become two new playable characters in the animation industry. Now, someone who's proving he's a level boss at the box office is Denzel Washington, whose dark Oscar buzz turn and flight powered the movie to a second place debut, despite playing in about half the number of theaters as Racket Ralph and a thousand less than most of its other competition. Flight also opened in significantly less theaters than Unstoppable and the taking of Pelham 123. It bested those debuts as well. Yep, looks like it's not just the Academy, but audiences who enjoy their Denzel more salty than sweet. This strong box office debut is just the kind of headline Flight needs to keep it at the front of the pack during the competitive award season, and also underscores that Denzel is one of the few legitimate movie stars still working in the biz today. Even his contemporary Tom Hanks can't deliver these kinds of numbers anymore. And while Flight is a dark film, some are comparing it to Leaving Las Vegas, which won Nick Cage an Oscar, and expect word of mouth and awards nominations to give this movie the kind of legs that would distract Denzel's character in the flick. Next up, Argo enjoyed yet another minuscule drop in its fourth week of release, another one of those headlines that adds fuel to its Oscar fire. And at this rate, Argo will become Ben Affleck's highest grossing directorial effort by the end of the month, if not sooner. So no matter what happens this award season, he's already a winner. Perhaps other floundering stars should also try going behind the camera, considering the career 180s it's done for both Affleck and his Argo producer, George Clooney. Didn't really work for Angelina Jolie, though, but then again, her directorial debut was more political than artistic. You gots to play the Hollywood game, people. The rules are there if you look. Another new player to that game is RZA, who's the man with the iron fist, opened at number four. Its haul is on par with mentor Quentin Tarantino's earliest works, and RZA was smart to keep his budget low enough that he doesn't have to deliver much to impress. Now, I'm not saying anyone's going to throw RZA a parade, but he'll certainly get another shot behind the camera. As for the rest of the box office, Taken 2 continues to make a great argument for a trilogy and Hotel Transylvania for a sequel. But it was a bloody weekend for the horror genre and not in a good way. Both Silent Hill Revelations 3D and Paranormal Activity 4 found their box office halls slashed, with the latter cut up particularly bad. At this point, it seems that Henry Juice and Ariel Shulman's second flick for the franchise won't be able to gross more than half what their first flick did. See? When you survive for one night in a horror house, perhaps you should just take your money and run in the morning. As for this coming weekend, Skyfall will finally hit theaters here in the U.S. while having already been in theaters abroad for two weeks. It's past the 100 million mark already. And the industry expects American audiences to upgrade Bond's box office a la Q with an impressive 85 million opening. Plus, it helps that Skyfall has no other box office competition, as the only other film opening this week is Lincoln, but just in 11 theaters. Lincoln is expected to perform on par with Spielberg's Oscar effort from last year, War Horse. But I've seen the film, and methinks word of mouth, plus some actual Oscar nominations, if not also wins, will power Lincoln much further. And that's the weekend box office. I'm Grace Randolph, and we just did some movie math. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.